evening. Um, so first of all, just paint a picture or, or for me on the ground of uh, the security situation as we speak. Uh, thank you very much, Linda. <clears throat> now, uh, you know, this incident happened the other day. Uh, those people who were killed were buried today. Uh, Eleven of them, they were buried in Farole. But the situation is calm as we talk now. This was a very unfortunate uh, situation. You know, these are militias from across the country, and we don't have a lot of uh, leeway in uh, dealing with them. But we, we have competently talked to our counterparts on the other side of One Ethiopia, hour. and they have promised very decisive action on, uh, on the said militias. So I can say for now the, the situation is uh, normal. We we have deployed security in those areas. You know, this side of uh, Farole, this town of Farole, we, we have a police station in Farole. We also have an anti stock theft unit within Farole town, which is taking care of that, that uh, place. But you know where these killings happen? It happened away from this town of Farole, right inside the bush. These people are actually massacred in, in the bush towards the border with uh, Ethiopia. But the town itself, Farole, is uh, very peaceful and uh, well secured. That's what I can say for now. Okay, I need to get a clarification from you before I let you go. I listened in to uh, some leaders from Marsabit today uh, and they yeah. were saying that this had nothing to do with natural resources. It was not a peace meeting. These are people who had gone to raid um, their counterparts in uh, Ethiopia. Clear the air for us. Uh, what I can say is that uh, this group of five elders who were killed, they were not raiders as such. Because these are people who are lured into believing that they were going into some peace uh, mission. But then there are some questions which are not clearly answered. Why did these people have to go for this peace meeting inside the bush? And why only five people? Why didn't the peace meeting take place in Falore, in Falore, which is a town and well secured? Why didn't they go with security officers? We have police officers right there at Farole. Why was the chief not there? Why were the security officers not there? Why was it not held within Farole town, a place which is well secured? Why were the Ethiopian security officers and administrators not there? Those are some of the things which is difficult to, to get answers. But the point is, these people left a town which is well secured, and they were heading towards the bush, to hold some peace talks with unknown people inside the bush. Then there was this other group of uh, five young men, among them two national police reservists. We don't know which peace meeting they were going to attend. We don't know what their mission was. And in fact, where the six were killed, beside them there were two bodies of Ethiopian militia, which is an indication that there was a firefight between these people. So we, we have some gray areas in the whole thing. But the bottom line is we would have expected if it was a peace mission, it should have been organized by both the governments of Ethiopia and ourselves, plus the police of uh, Ethiopia and ourselves, so that the whole mission can be done in an environment which is peaceful rather than just a few elders heading towards the bush to go and talk to, to some people we, 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 we don't know. Right, so what you're clearing is that no, they were not part of a team that had gone to raid their counterparts in Ethiopia. These are individuals who had gone for a peace meeting, yes, but they did not follow the standard operating procedure when it comes to having peace meetings. You say they should have consulted Kenyan security forces and Ethiopian security forces should have also been involved in this entire procedure. Yes, for the uh, five. All right, thank you so much. For the for five elders. But okay. For the, but for the other six, I cannot vouch for them.
because it seems already they had weapons and they seem to be have been a firefight and they even 